I mean, I, on my films, I try to shoot as much in camera as possible. Uh, on Interstellar, my last film, you know, for example, we didn't use any green screens. So when we were shooting inside a spaceship, we had views outside the windows. We, we produced all that material and we shot it and achieved the effect in camera. Uh, and when you're Even asked... Even the bit where Matthew McConaughey is tumbling through a sort of space-time continuum, <laughs> if that indeed is what he's doing. <laughs> indeed. We built a set for that and we enhanced it with visual effects and visual effects technology has been wonderful for enhancing those things and, and increasing the vocabulary. But sometimes when you're asked to justify these things like not using green screen, you have to just bring it down to, well, it, it's so much more fun to do it. It's fun for the actors, it's fun for me. There's nothing more dispiriting than when you turn up to work and there's just a green screen with a couple of actors in front of it. It's really, the magic's not there, so. Do you miss any of the gags from the old TV series? Do you think you've hit the right gag quotient in those films? I think you, you know, you put as much humor in as the tone of what you're doing will sustain. And, uh, you know, we were always very fortunate to have Michael Caine, you know, along for the ride to, to drop, you know, the odd, the odd, the the odd, odd bomb. Line, the odd funny line, the odd, uh, the odd bit of heart, and also Morgan Freeman, you know. I mean, we had some wonderful actors in there, but, but those guys particularly, they lent, you know, a degree of warmth to something that otherwise could be uh, too dark, too cold. Are you Tony's stank? 